Guy Harvey is a world-renowned artist and marine biologist with a passion to help protect the sea. He's also a dedicated explorer, filmmaker, and businessman, fiercely devoted to his family. Born in Germany while his father was serving in the British Army, Guy is a 10th generation Jamaican of English heritage. He grew up in Jamaica, spending his youth fishing and diving with his father. One of the first things Guy remembers as a child was watching his mother catch a massive blue marlin. Instantly, Guy was hooked. Captivated by sea life, Guy began drawing pictures of what he witnessed. Then, one book captured his imagination more than any other. Ernest Hemingway's The Old Man and the Sea. He read it at least a hundred times and dreamed of the day that he would catch his first marlin. In October of 1973, he caught his first, followed quickly by two more, and he and his family won the Port Antonio International Marlin Tournament. He continued to devote himself to the science of the underwater world, earning a first-class honors degree in marine zoology at Aberdeen University in Scotland. Eager to learn more, he received a PhD degree in fish biology and fisheries management from the University of West Indies in 1986. Well, I was working on my PhD at the Port Royal Marine Lab in Kingston, Jamaica, right at the tip of the Port Royal Peninsula. It's right next to the Jamaica Defence Force Coast Guard base. And so I decided to join the reserves in 1979 and actually stayed on for 10 years. It was a great way for me to formalize my navigational knowledge and skills. Our main role was, of course, fisheries protection, search and rescue, drug interdiction. But fisheries protection because there's a lot of small boats in Jamaica that fish, go offshore, fish far away with very little in the way of navigational or safety equipment. And so many of them become instant search and rescue cases. So when we combined forces with the air wing, we'd often go out and look for people who were reported missing at sea. I think the key thing for me was that you're like a godfather almost overseeing the operations of these artisanal fishermen who are really eking an existence from the sea. Studying the sea, his skills as a marine life artist grew. Now that brings us back to Ernest Hemingway's The Old Man and the Sea and a passion to illustrate the book. In 1985, he presented original pen and ink drawings at a Jamaican art show. The show was a hit, and in 1986, he launched a licensing business with a Fort Lauderdale-based apparel manufacturer. The goal was simple, create a range of clothing items featuring his colorful and accurate depictions of marine wildlife. Ever the explorer, Guy set out on an adventure that would take him around the world. He would use each expedition to add more incredible detail to his artwork. By 1998, this Jamaican artist was known around the world, and the International Game Fish Association gave him a Lifetime Achievement Award. In 1999, Guy moved from the island of Jamaica to the Cayman Islands. He also collaborated with the Nova Southeastern University Oceanographic Center to create the Guy Harvey Research Institute. As Guy traveled, it became clear the world faced a massive problem. Life in the undersea world was disappearing, and there was an immediate need to take action. In 2008, Guy created his own nonprofit marine conservation organization, the Guy Harvey Ocean Foundation. The hard work was widely recognized. Guy received an award from the Academy of Underwater Arts and Sciences, and he was inducted into the IGFA Fishing Hall of Fame, the Swimming Hall of Fame, and the Scuba Diving Hall of Fame. Back on the water today, You'll find Guy ready to help the next generation as well. Both his daughter Jessica and his son Alex share a passion for the sea. In fact, Jessica is a zoologist working for the Department of Environment in the Cayman Islands. In April 2015, Nova Southeastern University renamed its Oceanographic Center, the Guy Harvey Oceanographic Center. In November 2015, Norwegian Cruise Lines launched The Escape, a state-of-the-art cruise ship with Guy's artwork gracing her hull. The detailed artwork would remind everyone who sees the ship of the incredible life just beneath the surface and the need to protect it. In 2016, Guy announced a unique partnership with SeaWorld. As the Orlando Park launches a new roller coaster called Mako, people visiting the ride will learn about the work underway by the Guy Harvey Research Institute to help protect sharks. But that only brings us to right now. There is so much more work to do. Guy Harvey is only getting started. With your support, 
He will continue to help save our seas. The more I go around the world and see the different predicaments facing marine resources in different countries, it becomes so apparent that it is our collective responsibility to conserve the marine environment and to maintain the biodiversity of this planet. <laughs>